it's Midnight Raven and today I want to do a, another eBay tips video and then I'm going to show you what has sold this week. If you've been watching this mini series of what has sold and my eBay tips, I will link a playlist down below in the description so you can watch the rest of the, I believe I've done two other videos in this series so far. Basically what I do is I'm giving you eBay tips whether you're a beginner, um, intermediate or an expert seller, everyone needs tips and hacks um, and especially when you're getting started, no different to getting started on YouTube, you're not going to learn unless you have some help. And then I'm going to show you what I have sold because I currently resell from home. Um, my day-to-day -day thing is housework and eBay reselling. So today I'm going to talk about what is prohibited and what is restricted things you can and cannot sell on eBay. Obviously, there is loads of other platforms that you can sell your things on, things like Facebook, Marketplace, Poshmark, Amazon, but there are limitations through what you can sell on eBay and also what you can actually send by a post, depending on the postal service you choose. So, I uh, use Royal Mail in my area and they have a big amount of stuff that you can and cannot sell, um, can and cannot have delivered through their company. So uh, whether it's uh, UK or it's international, there are restrictions. So eBay has restrictions, but also just because you sell it on eBay doesn't mean things people like Royal Mail will send the item. So it's best to get information like this when you start, what you can and can't send, especially international. You are restricted, especially if it's going by air mail, especially if it's going over a long distance. Um, I'll tell you about the Royal Mail stuff in a minute, but let's concentrate on the eBay. So eBay, what can you not sell on eBay? The first item you cannot sell on eBay is partially used cosmetics. Things that touch your face and your body, it is really unhygienic, um, unhealthy, and obviously you don't know who else has used that product. So makeup has to be new. Um, you cannot send it if you've partially used a palette or anything like that. The second one is electronic surveillance equipment. So things like webcams or surveillance cameras the thing is is if someone has the details for that they can hack into it and spy on you in your own house using the camera you've just bought i know it sounds crazy but it can happen so stuff like that they don't sell it on ebay other things you can't sell are human remains or body parts i don't know why if you happen to have like a kidney hanging around or maybe an arm's dropped off and obviously human remains, things like skeletons, ashes. I don't know why you would sell them on eBay, but you can't sell them. The next one is obviously speaks for itself. Things like firearms, um, firearms, weapons, knives, explosives, anything to make bombs. Um, you can't sell stuff like that. You, you just can't. Um, number five is prescription illegal drugs. So there are very strict rules in the UK of drugs which you can and cannot get without a prescription, i.e. from your doctor. Now you can buy drugs online but they have to follow a certain code, a certain standard and quite a lot of drugs, uh, not as in class A drugs but prescription drugs, some of them are actually illegal in the UK. So if you're transporting them in and buying them from abroad, you could actually be in trouble more than the person selling them because you've brought them into the country. They're selling them, yes, but you brought them in the country. See, two different ways of uh, getting in trouble there. The next one is personal information, things like passports, birth certificates, addresses, bank details. Um, there are shady and fraudy people out there in the world and people want to buy your information. They want addresses, they want your national insurance, they want your passport details so they can counterfeit them and make replicas. Unfortunately, that's the way of the world. The next one is 
lock picking equipment, anything that you could break into your house with. Basically, lock picks, lock pick kits, um, anything that you can like break into a safe with, stuff like that. eBay, stay away from that because that's just influencing people to commit crimes and making it readily available for them to then be able to go commit a crime. The next one is animals. You cannot sell your dog, your cat. I don't care if it's your yeah, little teeny weeny hamster. You can't sell your pet on eBay. And you also can't sell pet related items. I'm not talking about the squeaky toy or the bowl. I'm talking things like ivory, pet skeletons, anything um, of a fraudulent poach kind of thing like ivory and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's inhumane and the poor animals. Think of the animals before you buy anything. Um, and the last item is a little bit naughty. It's adult items. So um, things like sex toys and stuff like that. Um, anything that's used in a kind of over 18 way is not on eBay. eBay tried to be like a friendly family platform and you can't sell stuff like that. But I'm sure there are plenty of other places that you can do stuff like that. So, apart from what you can't sell on eBay, which there is a huge list, this is just a portion of the stuff that you cannot sell on eBay. There is obviously stuff you can sell on eBay. So, less of the negative, more of the positive. So what can you sell on eBay? The top telling, the top 10 things you can sell on eBay are things like home decor, garden accessories, uh, home tech, say TVs, computers, laptops, fitness would be gym equipment, uh, protein shakes, stuff like that, um, the G Fuel kind of powdery stuff, uh, shoes, is it, is just a no-brainer, shoes, heels, boots, wellies even when it comes to winter, fashion, is a big part of YouTube, but it's also a big um, returns problem. If you sell and you know about clothes, people are always returning items when it comes to clothes. That's why I stay away from it. Um, so fashion, clothes, coats, dresses, anything that women can wear. I don't know if men buy as much clothes offline. Men more likely to just, you know, let the woman order it. Uh, jewellery, so jewellery, watches, anything antique, custom jewellery, antique jewellery, one-off pieces, collectibles, anything like that. And then you've got collectibles, so sports memorabilia, um, anything Hollywood memorabilia, antiques, anything that has a kind of value to them, you can sell. Things like toys, Lego. Um, I want to say play sets like the little kitchens and an amount of different toys that will make your eyes water, especially if you're a parent like me. Um, and then other things that can sell on eBay are things like books, comic, comics, Funko Pops, um, anything that's got like a comic, Comic Con, um, sci fi, things like Star Trek, Star Wars, futuristic things, Game of Thrones, you name it, fantasy and fiction, um, kind of go hand in hand, sci fi as well, all in the same barrel. Um, so that's what you can't sell and what you can sell. Now, me, I send my stuff through Royal Mail. So, Royal Mail has uh, a lot of stuff you can't sell. Uh, send through their postal service, which helps. So if you're like me and you sell on eBay, you can sell something on eBay, but it doesn't mean you can use Royal Mail to post it. There's a problem. But there are many, many other ways of posting. You could use Yodel, you could use UPS, you could use um, Click and Collect. You don't have to send it through the post necessarily. So Royal Mail won't let me uh, send stuff like aerosols over a certain amount, uh, no ammunition, no batteries because they might leak basically, no clinical waste, no medical waste, um, environmental waste, flammable liquids like solvents, petroleum, 
uh, wood varnish, flammable solids, gases, including non and toxic gases, hoverboards, because they have batteries, I'm guessing. Uh, things like uh, infectious substances, lighters and refuel liquid containers, so no butane, no cigarette lighters. You can't sell magnetized materials. You can't send matches. You can't send pesticides, so weed killers. You can't send anything that's radioactive, solvent-based, waste, dirt or refuge. And you can't send weapons. So the chances of me sending any of them are pretty small. <laughs> but you have to know what service you're going to use to send the items. So if you buy something uh, and sell something on eBay, you want to know that what you buy to then sell, you can then send through the service that you're then using. So there are many, many services out there. If you look on eBay, there's actually an entire list of people, drop-off points, lockers, services that you can send your stuff through. So, best thing to do is check on eBay what you can and can't sell when you first start, depending on what you want to sell. And then look for a provider for your mail service, whether you use raw mail like me, Parcel Force, UPS, Hermes, Click and Collect. Uh, drop lockers or collect in person so that is the what you can and can't sell part of the video now this is the next five minutes will be me showing you what I've actually sold to give you an idea of what things do actually sell on YouTube uh, what actually things sell on eBay using YouTube to show you what sells I've also got some other videos coming up for the eBay tips and the other eBay tips I'm doing is surprising things that sell on eBay, tips for beginners, and quick profit items. They are future eBay topics. If any of them sound interesting to you, uh, do let me know. They're the ones I've planned. So, a quick look at what I've sold. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and like subscribe. If you leave this part of the video and you don't want to see what I'm selling, then please feel free to watch the other two in this series on um, eBay tips. So, first item I sold was this adult colouring that sells really well. And this is just a book on kites. And it sold really quickly. Memorabilia sells really well. This is obviously memorabilia. These are my Coke collection. I have a huge Coke collection and it's selling really well. This is just a cookbook on how to use coke in all your recipes. And some of these are actually not too bad. Other things that sell well on eBay are things like this. Face masks. Korean face masks are a gold mine. People love face masks is a thing at the minute. And also these foot masks. Anything with charcoal in it is a big hit right now. Obviously, Halloween is coming up, so I have sold this this week. Obviously, Halloween is coming up, and everyone wants to be different in their house for Halloween. This is just a Hessian pillowcase or cushion cover, depending on your size of your cushion. Other stuff that sells on eBay is more Coke memorabilia, or in another way of looking at it, is stationery back to school stuff. This is actually, I believe, going to Denmark. Mm. Other stuff that sells well is hair accessories. I've sold tons of these. So this is a green Alice band that is going. It's just a plain little green Alice band. And this one is just a hair clip. And they're all selling really well. Other stuff that you might not think would sell so something you might think that wouldn't sell, that was just a postman, sorry about that, uh, would be stuff like these. Hair sachets. Sachets of shampoo. Sold. <laughs> Other things that sell pretty well are things like makeup, face creams, even reading glasses have sold. 
These sold really quickly. They were up like a couple of hours and boom. Out the door. Other things that I have sold recently um, are things like pins. These have all sold. Halloween pins. All of these have also sold. More stuff like this. Stationery. And these are scented. Although they don't really smell like Coca-Cola. Um, other things that also sell are perfume samples. I've sold a ton of these. I get these from Feel Unique. I try them. And then I buy another lot and then I sell them. So I get two lots a month. I get a lot for myself and then I get a second lot. So I keep one lot and then I sell the second one. So I, what I do is I buy them. I test them on myself to see what they're like. If I like them, I buy a second lot and then I sell them. So, perfume samples, just little ones, nothing fancy. And then, odd little things like makeup palettes like this sell. Um, things like eyeliner sell. I've got little earrings that sell. Um... And then last of all, I've got these Be Here grips. So, that's what has sold this week. Um, I've got more that I've already posted this week. Um, obviously, I have to do the videos around posting, but I also have to post my items on time. So, this is just a portion of what I sell. I sell on average a good, oh, I don't know, 100, 200 items a week. I sell quite a lot. Um, one day I will show you the setup in my bedroom of how I actually keep my stock in good order, how I organise it, uh, maybe do a little bit of a tour of my stock park, um, just so you can see how you can do it at home, even if you live in a bungalow like me and have virtually no space. So, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to like, subscribe and give me a big thumbs up, if you want to watch the other parts in this series, I will link it down below. Basically, it's an eBay tip series and then showing you a couple of items that I have sold to give you an idea of what sells on eBay uh, and basically how I'm doing because this is what I do for a living at the minute. Um, I'm basically selling from home. So if you haven't already, do check out those other two videos. If you're starting to sell on eBay as well, comment down below. Uh, tell me your store name and I'll quite happily come over to your store and have a look. Um, we can share tips. If you have any tips as well for selling on eBay, if you do it yourself, I am open to any suggestions. I do love to convey ideas and suggestions between people. It really does help you get an insight into the eBay world. So if you haven't already, leave a big thumbs up, click that notification bell because I do videos every day and I'll see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye.